Hello and welcome back to another certified OG shaping video. We are still in the progress of preparing my M5 E60 to prepare it for something amazing. In the last video you saw that I drifted it for the very first time and we also kind of broke the car. We are still not quite sure what happened. At first we thought it was a fuel problem, but we pushed it back to Sean's garage and we found out that the motor is not cranking anymore, which could be a bad sign. Let's find out what the reason for that is. Der Motor dreht, der Starter hängt gar nicht. Ja. Yeah. Ist ein Kurs, weil das Auto nicht startet, irgendeine andere Fehler sehen. Was willst du versuchen, jetzt zu machen? Ja, ich kann das machen. Okay, also, kein Negativ jetzt. Sean hat es gerade getestet. Er hat gesagt, es ist nicht gestartet, noch nicht. Also, was wir müssen tun, ist, wir müssen die Schicht verändern. Because, as you can remember from my last video, my car is stuck in third gear because the shift linkage broke off. So we can put it in first gear and then we can try to push start it because Sean thinks that actually the starter took a shit. Da ist das Schwertgestänge mhm. und durch die Bewegung so ist die ist, ist ausgegangen. Du sagst Shift Linkage. <lacht> ja. Shift Linkage, ist, Shift Linkage ist Shifting again. Big fail. Ja, erste Problem gelöst. Neutral haben wir wieder. Jawohl, Baby. <lacht> Aber das Problem ist halt immer noch da. Das Ding ist einfach pitch nass. <lacht> okay, so the plan is that we're gonna try to push the car as if the car had no battery and let's see what happens basically. Also, ich verstehe das. Also, also das, Auto, das, das Auto, der Cursed M5. Das ist der Starter hier oder nicht? Stürmen wir mal an, probier's nochmal. Ja, ist der Starter hier. Yeah. So, we kind of figured out the mechanical issues. We're gonna try to get a starter and then we're gonna replace the starter over the next few days. In the meantime, the most important stuff is gonna get done by the man himself, Justin. <laughs> also known as the body shop guy. Uh, Justin is gonna basically cut off the roof of my M5. And we have a donor M, uh, not M5, a donor 5 series over somewhere in the backyard. Then we're gonna take the roof from and then we're gonna basically roof swap the cars. Mm -hmm. And also we have a little surprise. I'm gonna show you a little teaser off right now. You saw it already, right? Yeah, I yeah. saw it already. We're gonna have the world's first carbon roof M5 E60, which is gonna be pretty cool, I think. Also have a little sheep over here. <laughs> so this is gonna be pretty, pretty amazing. And I'm very excited for this. So we have all the parts we need. Uh, the only thing missing right now is an M5 mirror and an M5 fender. And we kind of have to figure out what to do with the lights. But yeah, over the course of the next three days, I would say we're gonna be busy fixing car mechanically once again, and also tearing the roof of my M5 E60 manual and also surviving Hurricane Debbie. What a Debbie has, yeah. So we just talked to Justin really quick. You still remember maybe from our first video that we did that the initial plan was to cut the C pillar, cut the B pillar and cut the A pillar and then replace the whole roof. And the reason why we're not doing that is because it's just way less work to just replace this here as opposed to all the roof. Next of all, it is pretty much in a good condition. So Justin might have to do some minor adjustments here, <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> but that's still way less work than replacing the whole roof and it also keeps maintaining more of the car original, which is also a good thing, I guess. And also, um, just as said that steel holds memory. So basically, it's just gonna have to teach the steel to get back into its original place with a little bit of force, which is gonna be very nice and satisfying to look at. So, yeah. So 
So, uh, roof is off, at least like the small little skin, whatever. We're getting the donor car right now, which I believe is pretty much an aquarium because of Hurricane Debbie. There she goes, beautiful. We need you. Mit dem Spitz. Ich glaube ja. <lacht> So, Justin, what's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. <laughs> uh, just trying to get this piece off without completely disassembling this parts part. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna cut this outer skin off. Yep. And then cut the inner piece out that we need for mm -hmm. the other part and a uh, whole lot less work. Perfect. So we might have a slight issue because the M5 is actually a bit more reinforced Stout. than we thought. Because this right here is the M5, which consists of three layers and the normal five series is just one layer mm -hmm. i wouldn't have known no nobody kind of knew it you know what we can do just use this one and kind of bend it yeah because I'll this is this, this is going to be the the main this piece will be the base. yeah and I'll just use this yeah, we're taking a quick break from fixing the M5 to meet up with my arch nemesis and to do a little science and research project, which could be quite interesting, I guess. Oh, yeah, he's still eaten. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering about the... If you're wondering about the hurricane, uh, we are right now in the heart and the center of the hurricane, which is a good thing because, as you might know, in the center of the hurricane, you have no wind and no rain for a few hours. Ah, the nemesis got stuck. So stupid. <laughs> I don't know why they brought it back here. This is the softest part of the whole, the whole property. How the f are you gonna get that out of there? I have no idea. It's not my problem though. I wasn't the one who put it there. Yeah, it looks like we have to cancel my meeting with my nemesis because my nemesis is stuck. This is the forklift where my M5 fell down, by the way. I guess this is karma. So, uh, back to our science project. Since none of us saw how the M5 fell down the forklift last time, we thought we were just gonna recreate it for you guys and put it on video. <laughs> Just do the same thing as last time, lift it up and we go to eat something. Yeah. I think it was higher last time though. Much, much higher. Wait. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh no! So as you can see guys, this is how the roof got just a little bit destroyed. Hmm. But E60s are very safe cars, as you can see. If you were an occupant in this car, you would be entirely safe. So if you own an E60 and someone were to come up to you in traffic and pick you up with a forklift and drop you on your roof, you would be pretty good. Wouldn't you say so? There's so many ants in the car. Uh, yeah. The M5 took Those are... a bit better, honestly. All right, let's flip you know? it back over. I had some debates to Kabuta by way. All right, while we did stupid stuff, by the way, Justin managed to remove the old uh, brace here. This is the new one of the beautiful M5, uh, 5 Series. So this is going to be welded here, and then we're going to use the other part and also weld that. So that we have the structure integrity that we used to have before. So on this side, mm -hmm. where the old piece was, I went ahead and lined up where the old panel scar is. Oh, yeah, yeah and did the same on the other side. So uh -huh. that means that when it, we cut this other piece off, everything kind of aligns flexed back out to where we needed to be. Yeah, which is good, yeah. Yeah, which is good. That's pretty much what we were hoping for. And then drill some holes and start welding and then get the reinforcing piece on here and... We should be good. Yep. So Justin has already prepared the car to be welded. 
So this is currently only screwed in. Obviously we're gonna weld it here. This is why the just nice little blanket is on the car. And we're having a small little dilemma right now. We're just having it basically because um, obviously we have to glue in the carbon roof and there's two ways to do it. First way is we're gonna do um, urethane, which is window glue, which you know you normally put over here on these rails to um, just put the window into the car. And we would have done the same thing with the carbon roof. But the issue is we might not have enough right now for the carbon roof and we're kind of in a time hurry. So plan B, what Justin is gonna suggest is doing it a bit differently. And what is plan B? Plan B is going to be using structural adhesive. Which is not as flexible as urethane, but the positive side is that it also makes the car a bit more rigid maybe, but at the same time, it also means that maybe the roof... Maybe we would, with the car flexing, because you drive like a maniac. Yeah. Uh, you could maybe. get maybe possibly spider cracking at some point in time, maybe from but fatigue, I think but I don't think... It's only on these points where it's yeah. connected Me to the Manny car itself, not, not the, the carbon roof itself. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing welded up, and then we put some nice little glue and the carbon roof onto my pipe. <laughs> So um, everything's up here is pretty much finished. We're ready to put the roof onto the car, the carbon roof, which I'm gonna be pretty excited to see. I'm not a huge fan of putting carbon on things, but a carbon roof on a BMW M car is, you know, all the new ones have it. So having it on the M5 E60 is gonna be pretty cool, I think. This is looking pretty, pretty good, I have to say. Very solid, definitely. Uh, once again, this is the roof. Really quick shout out to the guys from Carbon Project in Germany. They actually reached out to me on Instagram once they saw that we flipped the car. Uh, they offered me this roof kind of to lighten my pain a little bit. So shout out to you guys. Thank you very much for the roof. I think it's gonna be amazing seeing it on the car once everything is finished and the car is nice and shiny again with a brand new carbon roof. We now also uncovered the carbon box so you guys get the full carbon overload. Mani even cleaned it. <laughs> uh, it's a bit funny to see the world's most important carbon parts on the right now shittiest M5 possible. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're here for, I guess. So we're putting a little bit of poly... Your thing. Yeah, polyurene <laughs> on here as kind of a sound dimmer. Sound deadener. Sound deadener, yeah, all right. <laughs> but yeah, apart from that, everything else is already in the car. This is gonna be pretty much the moment of truth where the carbon roof forever melts together with my shitty M5. Do, do, do. Du musst genau auf die Wasutzeichen, die hier. Uh, so, as you can see, the roof is on the car and <laughs> it's also glued to the car. We need to let it dry around exactly nine hours. Now it's pretty much 12 p.m. a.m. We're gonna go to sleep and then tomorrow, 9.30 in the morning, we're gonna be here again. We're gonna take all of this off and first of all, look at the car for a few minutes because I think it's gonna be so beautiful. Hello and welcome back. Uh, today is the day that we finally get to see the carbon roof live in action for the first time properly. We are back at European Road Racing here in Charleston, South Carolina. We survived the hurricane. It went right past us tonight uh, and yeah, it was pretty pretty windy as you can imagine. But so far everything seems to be fine. Actually the days before the hurricane have been worse than the actual hurricane itself. We're still waiting for Justin and we're gonna take a look at the carbon roof, inspect it a bit closer. Also we're gonna remove all the dents of the car and get new doors. Let's see what happens. All right so like we already said the plan for today, uh, Justin is gonna work on some of the dents that you can see here in the A pillar and basically in the entire body of the car. So this is gonna be very satisfying to watch later I think. And also we're gonna swap out the doors because obviously these doors are not in very good condition anymore. And in the meantime, we are going to take a look at the engine one more time. Uh, we're gonna have to remove the starter, which is a pain in the ass because basically you have to disassemble the whole engine because the starter is right between both cylinder banks somewhere back here under all of this stuff. So we have to take apart half of the engine, get out the starter, get in a new starter, and then hopefully, also while we're at it, we're gonna change one of the Vano solenoids, this one here, 
uh, because it's also broken and we also got to fix the coolant leak finally. Uh, getting along pretty good. Justin also arrived and we're ready to finally admire the carbon roof properly. Everything dry here already? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ay, ay, ay. It's so beautiful. I really, really like carbon roofs. And this one, structure looks amazing on this one here. Why is there a pin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have to make it a bit more beautiful, but I do have to say it worked perfectly. The fit is amazing. Yeah. Looks very straight. Yeah, it's perfect. Can't wait to see with the windows and everything installed properly out in the sun for the first time. It's gonna be very interesting to see how how loud it is going to be with the carbon roof in the car now because I mean yeah. we're still not sure if you're going to put a headline in the car or if we're going to leave it because I do think it kind of looks cool this way because you can see the structure of the roof if you're sitting in the car but at the same time like I always said it's going to be pretty loud without a headliner and my headliner is a bit destroyed my old one so we're still gonna decide over that I guess I think we might have found another little problem maybe I think if they are on, they are connected, but the engine is not moving that much that they go off like this, but it should not be like this. So, uh, this is all the parts that we had to remove, pretty much, only to see the starter. So, now we can at least see what's causing all the issues, only that you can understand what the struggle is. This is the starter, and it's bolted here, and you see there's no room here. So, good burn it. <laughs> yeah, we have to lift up the whole car and we have to get it from this side here, from underneath the car. We have really no other option than to lift up the car, which is also annoying because obviously Justin has to work on this stuff and the car being in the air, Justin can't get rid of all the dents. All right, anyway, let's get to work, I guess. Let's start this trip. We're back, I'm back. Uh, Manny and Gabriel, they spent the whole afternoon working on the car together with Justin. I had to do some actually pretty important stuff. Yeah, we are back. Car is, I guess you saw it already. Just had some good old Chinese food <laughs> with a very nice Chinese lady. Chicken already have fried rice, so you do not slide fried rice. Rear window is in the car. It's looking very, very nice so far. The roof matches up perfectly with the rear window, which is much to my delight. Also, Justin did some pretty good work here. Obviously, we're gonna put the primer over this so it's not gonna be as shiny as it is right now. We still did not get the part that we needed, which means we're gonna have to do that tomorrow, if the part arrives tomorrow. Apart from that, we still have a lot of parts laying around. We have a new hose, which we have to install tomorrow as well. My lights are out because we tried to fix them and we found out it's not gonna work because we can't open them without cracking the glass and we don't have a spare glass, so we're gonna have to put in the old ones again. If I don't find any new ones or better ones in Marketplace, but yeah, anyway, uh, what we're gonna do today is the headliner because my car currently has no headliner. So we're gonna take care of that. And then the front window is also gonna come in the car so that the car should pretty much be done from the outside, except for the mirror and the fender. So first things first is gonna be the headliner. Well, the boys and Justin, they had a pretty good idea. The idea is that we're just gonna cut the headliner right here. So on the over the airbags and obviously in front where we have the vices and everything, we're gonna have headliner, but in the middle, we're gonna have a panoramic sunroof where you can pretty much see the carbon fiber roof. <laughs> so you have a panoramic sunroof with my carbon roof as a view, which is gonna be pretty cool, I think. We're gonna just trace this line. Genius. For the most part, look at that. So Justin is taking a phone call right now. Uh, we are going to look at the doors in the meantime, because right now, the only thing which is really, really dented right now is my doors. Uh, we have new doors here, but they are of a normal 5 series and they are a bit different because they are pre-facelift. So we're gonna try to see, maybe we can fix those doors because I think we can maybe like, you know, punch it from the other side. And if you can't fix it, we're just gonna swap the doors. Let's try it and we'll see what's easiest. What do you think of our plan of leaving this door inside? 
both. We're just we're gonna kick it from the inside. <laughs> Justin's running away. <laughs> I mean, that's a good idea. I don't like the idea. Hang on one second. Because it's from us. I take it in us. Is it working? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so straight. <laughs> it's so straight now. Can I do it? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Das ist ein bisschen zu weit draußen. Nein, die ist echt nicht schlecht. Ja, schlecht ist nicht. Ja. Ja, Bitte mal hier. Und dann kicken wir mal da hier. Das ist ja wie ein Spiegelkabinett bei Zirkus. So richtig Aber schau, wie wiegt sie. <laughs> it may not be the prettiest, but we have a door without dents on my car now, which is a great success, I would say. Also, I might be the first BMW M5 owner who has normal 5 Series mirrors on his car. So, a little fun fact, if you have a facelift M5 and you're trying to put pre-facelift doors on your car, just remember that it's pretty much a pain in the ass. <laughs> just don't put it on the forklift. Uh, just don't put your kind of pocket. Don't drive in the desert. <laughs> Roof is finished, by the way. Looks pretty nice. Just need to put it into the car. Wire. Yeah, I'm in now, Yeah. Welcome back to the beautiful M5 dilemma. Um, so plan for today. Justin is gonna pretty much send down all the other parts of the car. Yeah, they looked like this yesterday and he already started back here. So this is pretty much what it's gonna look like finished. And then we're gonna paint these parts so that my car is somewhat black again. Looks very beautiful, by the way. Also feels very soft, very nice. Kind of like a butt of a baby, very, very nice. Also, we have to swap the rear door, which is gonna take some time. And we're currently removing the trim pieces of this door because they are silver and the rest of the car is not. So we're gonna swap them over from the old one. And also we're still waiting for the starter. So we really hope that the start arrives so we can finally finish this shit here. Anyway, headliner. It's cut out with the panoramic sunroof so you can actually see the carbon roof. Which is genius in my opinion. Oh. <laughs> so also, I think I'm spinning. Yeah, I'm going to spot you. I've never had that happen. Man's Gesicht is my design, I'm going to. Thank you. Can I get anything on you? you yes. Well. Hey. hey, I'm here for a show. You know what I'm saying? That's actually, most of the time, that's how I open those. I just pop the cap off and I've never broke the, <laughs> broke the nozzle I think off. it was on purpose. <laughs> So, well, bodywork wise, the car is somewhat ready. Um, it's primed, we have no more dents, we have a carbon roof on. So, it's kind of time to say goodbye to a good old goodbye. friend, Justin. Justin. Justin's gonna go back to Virginia. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. You did an amazing job in only like two days. That's crazy. This is all gonna get painted one, one day, by, one day also soon. by you, I guess. Uh, by Carl. Oh, but by I'm Carl. gonna come help. By Carl. All right. Yeah. Thank you very it's much. It's gonna be a team, a team effort by everybody here. We still have to mechanically get the car running, so that's gonna be also pretty nice. Enjoy your day off, oh, or like your weekend off. You deserve it after all this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, thanks for having me a part of it, and we'll see Mr. you Mr. Body Shop Guy. <laughs> you too. I miss you. <laughs> all right, so Justin is gone. What did we do so far? The rear door is now inside. It's a bit of a different shade than obviously the rest of the car, but we're also gonna fix that. So now the front door needs to be done and obviously the whole engine work. But we have a little change of plans because Mani and me, thanks to Carl, <laughs> we're on a mission now to find a new fender and to find new headlights. So we're gonna have to drive eight hours to Georgia 
to meet up with some shady BMW guy and yeah, hopefully we can get the parts we need so that my car should be prettier again, I guess. I don't know, whatever. So <laughs> we are a bit in a hurry right now because uh, this guy only has like five hours and he has to leave and we have to drive there like four hours, 50 minutes. So money me, we're gonna go in a car real quick. We're gonna drive there and Gabriel is gonna stay here alone with Sean and Gabriel is gonna try to get the engine to run Hopefully the starter is going to arrive in the meantime. Yeah. And so we catch two flies with one catcher. Yeah, uh, we have been on the road for like four hours, four and a half hours now. And we made it to Georgia. Um, actually, we're pretty close to Atlanta right now. And I have to say this area here is so beautiful. Uh, I'm really a huge fan of like countryside America and this is exactly what you have in mind if you think of like America in my opinion. Like you have small villages, like wide open fields, very very cool vegetation. I don't know, I just I think Marty's a fan too. Yeah, I like it here. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're supposed to meet up here with um, a follower. So I reached out to him because otherwise, like he, he's picking up some of the parts and he's meeting us here. Otherwise we would have had to drive another two hours, which would have meant that we would have probably never made it back in time yeah. to Sean's place. So he's meeting us here somewhere, I don't really know. He has my fender and my lights. We are kind of on a look lookout for him right now, way a bit earlier. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Yeah. It's so nice. I don't I know, like I, it. I, it's really hard to describe and if you're not really feeling it, I understand, but for me it is this, I don't know. I'm, really like it it's so quiet the next thing is the last couple of days was raining and everything yeah, and the, now it's it's 30 degrees <laughs> i saw that uh bluetooth on the swing yeah honestly i don't really know where the guy is part yet but it's just i don't know very relaxing to be here right now it's so chill peaceful quiet and very very beautiful i could imagine I don't know, driving an old muscle car through these cities here. Just going for the full American vibe. Well, anyway, let's try to find the M4 guy, see what parts he brought us, and then we're gonna head back to Gabriel. So we found the homie. Let's see what he has for us. Oi, oi, oi. It's a very, very nice M4. <laughs> hey, man. How's it going? How far you going? What do you have there? Fender? Yes. Uh, wrong color, but thank you very much anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Omodo. Schemerfer. Well, this M4 is beautiful. That wing is crazy. <laughs> Parts are secured, fender and two lights. We're only missing the mirror. And yeah, he wants to show us just how to slice his, how he slices M4. <laughs> So after I couldn't fix the starter. I think I'm giving it for free for this car because this car deserves it way more than the M5. To head back to Justin and head back to Gabriel. Let's see. Gabs, we coming. Gabriel, we're coming, da. Leave no man behind. Welcome back to the never-ending story of my M5 P60. Today is Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Starter still is not here, <laughs> which is amazing. But yeah, we're gonna focus on the lights and the fender. We're gonna fix that in the meantime. Maybe the starter will show up today. I really hope so, because I really don't know what to do with my life anymore. I wanna go drive the M5 and not sit around the workshop, but it is what it is. Also, by the way, really quick, look at these lights. Very shiny, 
very good way better than the old ones we used to have which are over here still so these are pretty yeah they are already pretty yellow this one's broken the other one's broken too i kind of really like the sticker but i think we're gonna put just put a new one on the other lights yeah let's get this bread let's make the m5 at least partially beautiful again and then fingers crossed starter is gonna show up gabriel basically he was able to get out the old starter um the old starter is not working it's stuck so there's no way to fix it and yeah, he also replaced the Vano solenoid, which was uh, bad. He cleaned my car for me, which I'm very grateful for. Yeah, and if you look in here, you can see the work that Gabriel has done yesterday. It's very beautiful, very clean. Actually very happy about that. Feels like a brand new car. You can see the carbon roof now. We have to still find a solution for that, but <laughs> just ignore it for now. So I just spoke to Carl and we got some very exciting news. Uh, the starter, which is supposed to arrive today, um, Carl ordered it yesterday with like express delivery and they were supposed to send it out yesterday so that it arrives today. Uh, he just spoke to them. They didn't send it out yesterday. They said, yeah, maybe they're gonna send it out on Monday. So it's supposed to arrive on Tuesday, which today is Saturday and I don't really want to wait until Tuesday. Uh, I'm gonna tell Gabriel the good news now. I don't really know what to do, honestly. It's just terrible. Also, Mani, talk to them. Der Starter? Ja. Wenn es gestern nicht verschickt, dann können wir Montag. Echt? Ja. Da können wir ihn aber. Uh, we might have just found another little problem with the M5. Alter. Hey, this is schon Witz jetzt. Oh, For the record, that was not us. <laughs> no? We never touched that screw here. Gabriel just removed the silicon okay. because we wanted to properly tighten it. Yeah. Du hast den zu zu Nah, Nein, ihr habt Silikon auf dem Weg Okay, so the plan is pretty simple. We're just gonna empty all the fluid and then Gabriel's gonna weld it shut. And then we have no more hole in my sure. gearbox. We still don't really know how that appeared there. I don't really know if it was already there because we, for sure, I can, I can guarantee we did a lot of stupid stuff, but we never did that. That's just one issue coming up after the other one. Oh my God. Because we have it. Yeah, we have it. We have it. weird. Yin und Yang. See original BMW Getriebe Reparatur Kit. <laughs> Dr. Glue im All. <laughs> all right, so the gearbox is welded shut with JV Weld. We have to let it cure for a few hours so we can't put the new transmission oil in there. Yeah, so the problem is since we do not get the starter, um, it's. I'm just gonna tell you right away what we had planned. We wanted to build the car so that it's running so we can drive it to Monterey Car Week, which is happening in a few days. Um, it's a huge drive. It's a drive across whole of America. So East Coast to West Coast, which is like 5,000 kilometers, which is crazy itself to drive with the M5. But now with no starter, I don't really see it happening. Um, it would have been an amazing road trip, I'm, I'm for sure. Yeah, I don't really know what we're gonna do. Um, it's very difficult for us. The car is together. I can show you really quick. <sighs> Just need the starter. And the next thing is that we don't really know if we put the start in the car, if it's going to be the only issue. So we're kind of having a very, very big dilemma right now. And this is how the car is looking now. We put in uh, both headlights and the hood just to see if everything lines up at least, which honestly does quite well. I mean, I know it looks a bit weird with all the different colors, but at the same time, I kind of like it. I don't really know what to tell you guys. I really wanted to drive this car. I really wanted to do this road trip because it's been a dream of mine, to be honest. I don't really know. I honestly... I have to keep you guys hanging. We had one more idea. We thought that in the S65 that is back there is the same size than the S85, which it is not. We checked that. I'm sorry, uh, but it's just, you know, that's life. Sometimes it is that way. You can't always get what you want. Uh, in my case, that would be a <laughs> working on five. I do hope you guys still enjoy this video. Okay, okay, okay. Let's pause the video here for a second. At this moment, I really thought it was all over, but we might have found a solution. And I have to tell you, it's probably the most insane thing I have ever done. And I seriously can't tell you if I am mentally stable after doing this. You're gonna have to wait until the next video for this one, but I'm pretty sure it's going to blow you away. So I see you guys in the next video.